What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're back with some more preview and predictions for Extreme Rules this year, man. I'm looking forward to checking out the pay-per-view. It's crazy to say this is going to be one of the first times in a very long time I'm actually somewhat excited for Extreme Rules and not just for maybe one or two matches. Damn near the entire card has some type of interesting stipulation. I can appreciate Triple H really trying to give us something that lives up to the name of Extreme Rules. So I'm looking forward to it. And uh, we're going to go uh, Well, I'm going to talk about my preview and predictions. Go down the list of the match card. And it, it should be a good time, man. I'm looking forward to this pay-per-view. All right, let's start this off with Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey for the SmackDown Women's Championship in a uh, Extreme Rules match. Um, I just, me personally, I just can't see Liv Morgan beating Ronda Rousey. I just, I just can't see it. Not in no extreme rules match unless there's some shenanigans. So, what I do feel like may happen here, and I could see them doing, I can see Liv Morgan somehow winning this match. You want to know how? I think there's going to be some type of interference that happens that causes Ronda Rousey to lose this match. That's what I think will happen. I don't think Liv Morgan is going to win because she's just going to dominate Ronda Rousey. I think there's going to be something at play that happens. Maybe uh, Shayna Baszler gets involved because, you know, Shayna Baszler and uh, Ronda have had some words for each other uh, in the past couple of weeks. So I don't know. Maybe Shayna Baszler gets involved. Me personally, the decision I would love to see, I would, I mean, granted, Ronda as champion, that's, that's give or take, but shit honestly man I, I wouldn't mind ronda winning back the title but i do think they're still going with Liv morgan so Liv morgan will win but i don't think she will win because she just goes mega extreme i think there will be some interference and that's how Liv morgan will retain the title that's just my opinion on it all right we got matt riddle versus seth rollins in a fight pit match daniel cormier or cormier is uh the special guest referee I'm looking forward to this match. I hope we see a little bit of color there because it only makes sense to have some type of color in this type of match. Um, I believe Matt Riddle had a, a fight pit match on, on NXT. I was able to see some clips of that and there was some blood in there. You know, not too much, but it, it made sense uh, just to have a little bit of color. But honestly, Matt Riddle needs this win. He, need, he needs this win. Matt Riddle has been taking a lot of L's just like Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins had the win before at Clash at the Castle, which he needed. Matt Riddle, he has to have this win. Like, you can't have him bring up a match that fits more of his, his style for him to lose. Matt Riddle needs this win. Seth Rollins will be okay. I think Matt Riddle wins here, and then they can go their separate ways if they want to. I think... I think the feud is is kind of it, it, it it's kind of reached its peak. I don't think they need to do a, a rubber match in my opinion. I think they need to just go their separate ways, um, and then probably have something happen with um, Seth Rollins and Bobby Lashley because they've been setting that up on Monday Night Raw. So maybe have him start feuding with uh, Bobby Lashley for the United States Championship. But I think Matt Riddle will win here. He needs this win, so I have Matt Riddle winning here. Drew McIntyre versus Karrion Cross strap match. Looking forward to it. Think it's gonna be hard hitting and brutal. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give Karrion Cross the win here. Drew will lose. He'll probably end up passing out. Karrion Cross will get the victory here. Do they continue the feud? Maybe. Maybe they continue the feud. I'm not sure, but Karrion Cross needs this win so i'm definitely giving Karrion cross the w here because it just only makes sense for him to win you don't want him to build this guy up as somebody that's trying to be a threat to roman reigns at some point only for him to lose to drew in a strap match you know so i would give Karrion cross the win here looking forward to it though i think it's going to be brutal and hard hitting Bianca Belair versus Bayley for the Raw Women's Championship in a ladder match. This should be fun. They've really been setting up the story of Bianca Belair not having no one in her corner. 
because damage control pretty much took out oscar and alexa bliss i guess in a sense so now uh bianca is really gonna be by herself and bailey's gonna have damage control with her in her corner um and it's just they're setting that story up i still think bianca retains i think she retains still to overcome the odds and then i think potentially at their next pay-per-view outing i think that's when she'll probably drop it but i do see bianca retaining because it's still you're trying to build up the you still want to you know make bianca strong and i think that would just be a good feel moment that she overcomes the odds she beats her and then finally she ends up dropping the title to bailey it, it will happen sometime probably this year but i don't think this is the time yet but it will happen so i'm gonna go with bianca belair retaining um the women's uh raw women's championship all right the next match uh the brawling brutes versus imperium six-man tag good old-fashioned donny brooks match i think this is gonna be fun I think they're gonna have they're gonna this may be match of the night they're gonna tear it down it's gonna be brutal it's gonna be intense who do i have winning in this situation honestly honestly i could i guess part of me wants to say the brawling brutes part of me wants to say the brawling brutes only to potentially set up another match with sheamus and gunther but you know what? I'm going to go with the heels here. I think Imperium will come out victorious and get the win here. Uh, it's going to be a brutal match. I can't wait to see it. This may even be the opening match. I hope it is because this is going to be good. It damn near may steal the show. So I'm going with Imperium to be, uh, to be the ones to uh, win against the Brawling Brutes. And the match that I think may and should be the main event. I hope it is the main event. Edge versus Finn Balor in an I quit match. Oh, sign me up. Sign me up. This is going to be fun. This is going to be great. It's going to be chaos. And honestly, I don't see Edge saying I quit. But I see something happening where he has to say I quit in order to save somebody. Like maybe Beth Phoenix is in a situation uh, where she may need to be saved. Granted, Beth Phoenix can handle her own. I really want Beth Phoenix to give uh, Rhea Ripley the beats. Uh, I want Dominic to get the beats. So I don't know, but I just something. I don't know, man. It. I just don't see Ed saying I quit willingly. It would have to be something else like that. But honestly, I do think. I don't know. This this is a tough one because you don't want Finn Balor to say I quit. You're you're trying to build up this group, and they've been doing a pretty good job as somebody like they're real credible, so like a real threat. And the leader of the group, Finn Balor, saying I quit doesn't really work. It it kind of diminishes them just a bit in a sense. So if this wasn't a group, if it was just Finn Balor and Edge, and Finn Balor wasn't in the group, sure. I would go with Edge, but since they're building up Judgment Day, I'm going to have to say I'm going with Finn Balor winning. Somehow, Finn Balor will win. It will just be Edge won't quit because he can't take the punishment no more. He'll probably quit to, like, save somebody. Like, maybe to save Ray. Ray may end up getting sent to the ultimate gulags or sent upstairs to the upper room, and he has to do it to save Ray. He says, I quit, I quit, I quit. That's the only thing I can think of happening because you want to continue to build Judgment Day as just this ominous threat. And you kind of derail that if you have Finn Balor say I quit because they've lost a multiple pay-per-views. They've lost. Judgment Day is lost, so they need this win. So uh, I can see Edge putting over Finn Balor in this I quit match. I'm very looking forward to it, and I, I hope they, they show out. Um, and that's my preview and predictions on Extreme Rules this year. A very short card, which I can appreciate. I'm so thankful. The card seems short, straight to the point. I like it. I love it. I like the format of Triple H is doing with these, these cards. They're not overbearing. There's not like <laughs> eight to ten matches. No, it's a few matches. 
uh, to get the point across and you know and I, I like that I can appreciate that and I hope he continues to do that because those super long pay-per-views they just they drain you but something short and concise get straight to the point I'm all for it man we got six matches and that's that's a perfect length for uh an, an extreme rules pay-per-view and just a pay-per-view in general six matches you don't have to have everybody on the card i can appreciate that so comment down below let me know who do you guys think will win who do you guys think will lose and are you guys looking forward to extreme rules this year because i know i definitely am but i appreciate y'all kicking it with me man see y'all on the next one